What is going on guys? Welcome back to another player review. Today we are going to be looking at the very first player from Team of the Season Bundesliga that was most voted yesterday on the poll on Twitter guys. And I was surprised Mandzukic was the most voted and Ian Robin was the least voted. I was expecting the more expensive players to be wanted to see to be seen more. Anyway, if you guys are looking for a cheap, reliable place to get your coin, check out battle.com. The link will be in the description and use the code Itani to get 5% off. Now, why is this guy even called Mandzukic? He should be called Hedzukic. Seriously, that's what you're going to be expecting in this video. Heading montages, just everything you want to see with a guy that has 92 heading. When he heads it into the back of the net, it doesn't even look like it. he's heading, heading it. It's, it looks like he's shooting it. That's how powerful his power header is. But... Let's begin with his uh, other attributes, which is, um, I think, less important to the people that are going to be crossing it the whole time. Anyway, to begin with, this guy has the pace upgrade. You could definitely feel it. He is very, very fast. Now, um, not exactly as fast as you would expect, but he could get the job done with that sort of speed. He's a decent dribbler. I could find him stiff sometimes, but I would consider him uh, decent. You might just be able to get past defenders. He's not really that bad. But it's, it's decent, I guess. Uh, very good strength and 99 aggression. This is something defenders are going to have trouble with because he is so hard to push off the ball. And because he has that speed now, it's very hard for defenders to run in front of him and slide tackle him because he has that pace upgrade. And now he's way stronger. So defenders are going to have a hard time just pushing him off the ball. Um, really good finesse shots outside the penalty area and even inside his finishing is completely insane. Now, finesse shot wise... He is amazing, but when it comes down to shooting, that is something you have to keep in mind. I found his shooting a bit on the weak side. I mean, a lot of his shots were saved by the keepers. It doesn't matter what keeper the people had, your opponent had, they just kept saving them. I guess his shooting isn't that great. So keep that in mind if you like to take long shots. I have tried loads of them and not even one went in. Now there is a nice uh, little shot outside the penalty area or just about inside with his weaker foot which was surprising but that was the only uh, goal I scored with his weaker foot. So there is a chance but he still has that 3 star weak foot and 3 star skills. Now he's not he doesn't have that bad positioning for someone that has high and high work rates. I mean every time I wanted to cross it this guy was in the penalty area and that's what's important right? So his positioning isn't that bad but maybe it's because his positioning is quite high with this version. Um, he has, like I said, awesome finishing in the penalty area, so you shouldn't have a problem with finishing with him. But, if you want to get this guy, play him in the lone striker formation. I think he plays the best in that sort of formation. And just cross it the whole time, because every fucking cross is a goal with Mandzukic. He is so overpowered. Well, you can't really say overpowered now. He's 88 overall with 92 heading. But he's just so damn awesome in the air. And he's one of the biggest aerial threats you can get in this game. Every cross is basically a goal. And what makes it even better is when he heads it, it looks like a fucking shot. That is how powerful his headers are. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate a like. I think Marco Royce is going to be the next player to be reviewed today. But then we have Lewandowski and Ian Robin. If you want me to change that schedule, let me know in the comment section below who you want me to review next and I hope you guys have a very nice day.